In this video, we'll use the ESP LXME raster wire test to troubleshoot valve wiring and solenoid issues. If you notice that some stations aren't watering as expected, there's a tool in the ESP LXME that will help you diagnose the problem. Turn the dial to Test All Stations, Check System, and select Raster Wiring Test. Raster stands for Rapid Station Test Routine. Then press Next. The ESP LXME warns against removing or inserting modules during the test. The ESP LXME is now going to test all of the outputs and will report back if they pass, if there's a short circuit, if there's an open circuit, or any other issue. The controller systematically sends voltage through each output, one at a time, and then reports back on whatever it finds. We have 12 stations in use on this controller, so it's going to check the master valve in all 12 stations. And here's the report at the end of the test. The report indicates that the master valve has an open circuit. That makes sense because I'm not using a master valve, so it's not finding a wiring or solenoid downstream. Press the plus soft key to cycle through the next stations. As the report indicates, station four has a short circuit. This indicates that I do not have a complete wiring path from the controller to the valve solenoid and back through the common, so I need to check the wiring. Station five has an open circuit on it, so I have a crossed common and valve wire on that circuit. So those are the indications and a list of the things you would need to fix. Be sure to visit rainbird.com slash ESPLX series for product manuals and FAQs. You can also call us for free professional support for programming and troubleshooting.